next on The Young and the Restless. Unless you keep your mouth shut, you're going to go down along with the rest of them, including your own father? Schedule thing with the wife, you know. <laughs> no sweat, Pete. So, uh, you think you'll be able to fit in a little golf this afternoon? No. No, look, Michael, what you were talking about earlier, about helping me get in the Genoa City Club... At a nominal price. In fact, I think no cost could be arranged. That would be great, Michael. Like a dream come true. But I can't. It wouldn't look good. To whom? I can't have people connected with the merchandise, giving me expensive, high-profile gifts. Oh, okay. I hear you. Hmm. Well, let's talk about finding a way that we can work together. I'm sure that we can come up with something. Boy, this is the most unusual meeting I've had in a long time. Well... You're a man in a position of great responsibility, and I'm a man with a big problem. It seems logical I'd come to you. But what you're offering me, I mean... We've already agreed that the golf membership isn't going to fly. Look, let me ask you something. I assume it's true that you could move Safra products to a more favorable position on your shelves without raising too many questions. Well, it's pretty much my call. I mean, I consult with the store managers and the display artists, but uh, they take their lead from the front office. Like I said, you're a powerful man. I have to wonder if the company pays you in proportion to your importance. I don't think they have any idea what it costs to raise kids. I can imagine. Look, um, I have to step out for a moment. I'll be right back. Make yourself comfortable, and we're going to talk some more. Oh. Let me make sure that we don't get our briefcases confused. Let me show you. This is how you tell them apart. Bet the inside of yours doesn't look like this. Excuse me. business, Pete. Let me make sure you understand something. Safra Cosmetics are in every way equal to Tuvia products. In many ways, we feel they're superior. A person telling his valued customer, hey, buy this. It's better than the other product. That person will never be embarrassed or betrayed by the quality of what he's recommending. That person will never hear the question, why the hell did you put Safra Cosmetics on the front shelf, right in the middle? That's good to know. Look, I know it's hard raising kids these days. After taxes, there's no money left. If you were to take that briefcase by mistake, that would be very understandable. They look exactly alike. All my stuff's in this one. I'll see to it it's returned. Look, I'll borrow a pen out of yours, and you can borrow whatever out of mine, and we'll call it even. I could call the police. You could, but it'd be a waste. No one's gonna know, Pete. Just you and me. Look, I promised my wife I'd pick up our daughter. Go, 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 go. I understand. Maybe we'll talk again some other time. It's not necessary, Michael. I think we've covered everything we need to cover. Great. It's a pleasure making a new friend like this. I trust the feeling is mutual. You can count on it, Michael. I will. Believe me, I will.
Yes, I understand. Look, Pete, to tell you the truth, I'm a little surprised to hear from you again. Well, why is that? We, we have such a mutually beneficial relationship. Yes, yes, you did a fine job getting Safra's merchandise right out there on the shelves, front and center. In fact, Nelson's department stores were one of our brightest stars in those first weeks after launch. And you returned the favor. How can I say it handsomely? Well, I trust you've been discreet. Well, I didn't go out and buy a Ferrari, if that's what you mean. <laughs> like you said, you got to keep that profile nice and low. Yeah. Um... Listen, Michael, there are lots of politics going on here. Everyone has a personal vision, you know, wants things done their way. What are you saying? Well, I'm getting a little pressure about product placement. Are you saying that sales aren't strong enough to warrant Safra's keeping those center aisle displays? Sales are great, uh, but, well, I was wondering if maybe there was a little more in the way of an incentive to leave things the way they are. Let me stop you right there, Pete. The answer is no, there is not. We have an arrangement, we have an understanding. You make plenty of money from Safra sales. Yeah, but you know how it is. No, was, Pete, was. We're talking about a one-time thing. Now, I don't ever want to have a conversation like this with you again. Ever. Got it? Who are you just talking to, and what's the connection to Safra? Victoria Newman, wasn't it? I like this place already. So, you must be Corey. Let's sit down. Got a little spot over here we can talk. You've been to the club before? Oh, this is my first time. Looks pretty pricey. I'm guessing about 40 bucks a plate here. <laughs> Your clothes. Gosh, that Victoria Newman, she is a knockout. She looks better in person than she did in those ads. Yeah, she does. Well, look, I'm running a little short on time. Where's Mr. Baldwin? He's not coming. What do you mean? He's busy, so he asked me to come in his place. He wanted me to talk to you about the reason he called him the other day. Well, I don't like this. Why not? Well, I just don't, okay? I mean, there's a lot to lose here. Yeah, there is. For a lot of people. And I really don't know you. Yeah, but we can still talk. I think not. Look, Pete, we both know the score here. Michael Baldwin simply wants to continue the arrangement that's already in place. The only thing left for us to do is discuss your price. Pete, you're the one who made the call. To Michael Baldwin? Does everyone who calls you get FaceTime with you? This is different. This is delicate. OK, then let's negotiate. Delicately. You first. What are we talking about? I already told you. The same arrangement as before. All right, look. Like I told Baldwin, there are people in management who think that this preferential product placement for Safra is no longer needed. The demand is strong. Now, I disagree, but I have to pick my battles here. Yeah, you do. You want some incentive. Well, I came through for you guys when the chips were down. I don't think I'm being unreasonable. You're not. How would you like to take your payment? I thought you said the same arrangements as before. Why would we change that? You do know how this was handled, don't you? <laughs> Pete, of course I know. You arranged favorable treatment for Safra, and in exchange... Yeah, yeah, I took the briefcase. Look, I like the way this worked better before, you know, in Michael's office. Here's the money, out the door, no screwing around. This is way too public. Six figures, right? Yeah, yeah, not counting to the right of the decimal. And Safra products will be middle shelf, right at the shopper's eye level. Look, for the right price, I'd have my salespeople jam it right in their damn hands. Okay, well, that wasn't too hard, was it? Well, yeah, six figures, but which six figures? 
You weren't unhappy with what you got before, were you? Oh, no, I wasn't unhappy, but... Newman! Good to see you, buddy. It's been a while. Excuse me? It hasn't been that long, has it? Steve Carson. Yeah, Steve. I'm sorry, man. I'm just, you know, in the middle of something here. Oh, didn't mean to interrupt, Nick. I think we're finished. No, actually, we're not. I'll let you get back to it. Hey, it was good seeing you. You're not going anywhere. Newman? You're Nick Newman? Oh, my God. If you know what's good for you, you'll sit down and shut up. Pete, sit down. <laughs>